presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, John in Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. I want to tell you, I've been listening to you since your radio days back in 99. Appreciate what you guys do. But what I really enjoy that you brought back to Lord, this guy is as smart as a whip. I, I am so he, happy for that feedback. Yeah, because he's one of a kind. He's got to be the number one market timer. I'm telling you, it's like he calls it really, really he, good. He does. I really appreciate the feedback, man. Yes, yes. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word, what you dream. What you feel and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 231, NASDAQ up 41, SP's up 16 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $3.90, uh, traded at 2182. We have silver down 15 cents, $25.11 an ounce, light sweet crude up 80 cents, $83.52 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note. Up 10 ticks, trading 110.04. The 30 year up 19 at 118.25 and King Dollar. King Dollar trading up 268 ticks at 103.847. Euro 108. Yen 150. British pound 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world, in the world of the S&Ps, as well as the NASDAQ and the NASDAQ 100. At all the indices in general, folks, you had rejection of lower price, and you're going to have lighter volume, and that tells me that tomorrow at 2 o'clock, when the statement comes out, that we're going to go for the highs. The S&P, the SPY went to 511, rejected it. You're at 514 right now. The NDX 100, which is also getting hit, went down into the price point of, uh, let's see, 433, rejected it. You're at 438, and... What you have in the NASDAQ 100, the Qs, is that you get that high volume high at 448. It gave it up on price that day, but guess what? That's a high volume high. So it looks to me that we're going to go higher before we're going to go lower, which is as wild as you can get. Let's, get. let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, now, because our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, now, this is really cool, man, that he is doing a, a live webinar today, right after I finish from 4 to 5.30. Now, this is for his subscribers, folks, okay? But you can be a subscriber right here and right now. And the way you do that, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go under Featured Content, and you're going to see it right on the left-hand side, the opening call, Subscriber Webinar. You can hit that button. You can subscribe. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So the bottom line is that you can take it for 30 days. If it works for you, great. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, you just let us know. You get your full refund. And then what, what you get, of course, is this. is that You're going to get a great webinar today. Basil already has about 10 to 12 out there. And the webinar today is going to be the technical tools needed for the coming few months. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm well, thank you. Looking forward to four o'clock. It's yeah. exciting, I must say. You get a you get a good day. You always pick a good day, even though you don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I know, it's very interesting. Well, of course part of it is timing and we, we had I the way I was looking at it, come come this middle part of March. A lot in the market very often happens in March. So I thought it was an opportune time. But what's really interesting is uh, you were talking about uh, different technical indicators. So I, I'll i be talking about technical indicators, but it's not just the technical indicators. It's what 
stocks and sectors go with this. And that's the, the important thing that I want to be putting together. It's like a package of what stocks we are looking at yes. or any decline, what we want to get. Nice. Uh, doesn't matter the range of prices, whether it's a single digit stock, double digit. It has nothing to do with that. It's the right sector, for instance, even though we are on a very short term basis, we have short positions. We actually have also put on long positions because these are stocks that are sectors that are under the radar and seem to be working. <clears throat> and what's interesting is, as we're talking, <clears throat> and at 4 o'clock, the futures are still open for another hour. So that's going to be exciting because I have a particular one particular indicator. I call it the technical tool of last resort, and that's my 914 moving average. Yes. And you can see, here's the one-minute chart. This is just the same as if I was, when I'm going to be doing the, my webinar, I'll be talking about the daily, weekly, monthly. This is the one-minute, five-minute, and the 10-minute. And you can see that this nine-period moving average was green, and then it went pink in the one-minute chart. The green in the, in the five-minute chart just ignored it. It couldn't care. But all of a sudden, as we're speaking, it's gone pink. The 10-minute, the which I would say is like a monthly, has this dreaded H pattern, and it's arching over. So this is, I, this is live. As we're looking at it, these are the very indicators, and I'll show you what we're looking at here. So in the daily chart, Here's the nine period moving average. It looked so close, like even this morning in the futures. I heard the you this morning, went, yes. <laughs> went red. It was going back said, and forth. I, I was driving on the way in <laughs> when I was listening to you, yeah. And, and, and the interesting thing is, I said, this is only early in the morning. It's not four o'clock. Anything can happen. The day is young right up until the last five or 10 minutes of the day. So we're going to be watching this very closely because it's getting closer and closer. But if you had to look at the, the IYM, which is the, uh, so I, IWM, the IW, IWM is the, um, no, I want to go to the IWM. IWM, look at this. This is the daily chart on the left, both of them daily charts. And there it is, pink. The nine period moving average hasn't been pink since it crossed positive back in the 9th of February. So for a month it's been running, and this has been one of the weaker indices. So we know that bottoms are made in unison, synchronicity because the, the fear factor and everything just comes in together. Tops kind of roll over. Yes. But the fact, the fact that we've got um, the small caps rolling over, the SMHs were really close. SMH, here we go. SMH just saved the day by having a bit of a rally, but it's starting to weaken. So I'm looking at this, and I'm going to show the subscribers and people who are joining the webinar how we look at this. It's a, it's a process. I don't want to say, this is it, bam. It has to be a process, this particular indicator. And it's an indicator that gives, uh, for instance, there was one day where it went pink in the SMHs, the semiconductor index, right here on the 5th of January. And then by the, um, it was a weekend on the 8th Monday, it went green again and it's green all the way through January, February, and all the way through this very minute that we're talking. And, but it looks folks, very close to turning down. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content, the opening call, subscribe to the webinar. And remember something, it's 4 to 5.30 today. If you can't make it live, folks, this is totally archived, okay? So if you want a great webinar, a, a great uh, knowledge of exactly what Basil does, go do it right now. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the, the seminar at Thank uh, 4 o'clock. Thank you, John. Thanks, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made it so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. 
When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials up 243, the NASDAQ up 20, SPs are up 13. Let's go to the Dow Industrials because what you did have out here all day is that, you know, we had the futures down in the morning, excluding. The Dow futures. Well, they were down, but by the time the market opened, they were up. So we want to look inside here and see what's moving these Dow futures, well, the Dow in general. So out here today, you got uh, United Health putting 36 positive points, Home Depot 33, Big Mac 30. Taken away from it, you only get a few. Intel my, minus five, you get uh, Johnson Johnson minus three, and that's all she wrote, man. That's pretty intense. Inside the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX, and this was down heavy, man, but guess what? Synopsis is up 3.5%. You get Cadence up 3.4%. You got, uh, what's this one? Oh, Baker Hughes up 2.4. Taken away fit, AMD's down 5. Marvell's off 3.6. Uh, Intel's off 2. So, bottom line is that uh, higher prices, uh, you know, if we put the Qs up, you're going to see, I was talking about this high volume high that was hanging out there and what you get out here today is that you know you get a rejection of lower price and you get a contraction of volume so uh that uh higher high going all the way back to the what 448 where uh, to me that looks like it's going to get you know tested first so we get an uptrend going in a monster way and you just heard what basil chapman was saying about the aspect of uh you know the nine over the 14 how close it came. You know, I'll just show you this <laughs> because I was listening to Basil on the way into work this morning and this is where it was wavering, right? And I'll just put this up so you can see it first. And you can see that pink line. You know, bottom line is that that pink line you know, you can see we're just getting to the top of it. So it gave it up. Mine gave it up a couple days ago. Uh, but it's way from right now. Let's see. Oh, it's so close. Let's see. 438.98. Yeah, you got to get back up to 438.98. But bottom line is that uh, <laughs> this is not a market to sell <laughs> until it actually breaks down. That's, that's what it really comes down to because the bottom line is that, you know, the buyers just keep coming in. We go over to the housing market because the housing is going to be watching this statement in, in a monster way. You know, you get Toll Brothers up a buck 34. Now, that's on light volume, though. That's, you know, that's, that's kind of frothy up there. Um, 
the statement's going to be huge because what you have is this, is that you only have three more meetings inside the Fed for the rest of the year. Uh, let's see, March, well, March, June. Yeah, three more meetings. Um, after, after March. You know, if you go a quarter point, there's three quarters of a point. You know, we'll see how this baby shakes out. But my take is that what you'll actually see, once they do the first cut, what you will see is the market itself, meaning the 10-year note, the two-year note, the 30-year bond, they will stack going topside. You know, the 10-year, what the 10-year just did here, the 10-year came down to the bottom of its, of its consolidation, takes off topside once again, and, uh, you know, we'll see where this uh, baby's shaking out. Uh, we get the 10-year right now yielding 4.293. We get over and take a look at Home Depot. What you, that's the second largest runner inside the Dow right now. So Home Depot, that's up 553. Let me just look at this for a second. 553. <laughs> Almost grabbed it all back. Interesting, man. Yeah, I mean, they're all going for their highs out here. And the Home Depot high is uh, 420. You're at 377. The low was established a couple of years ago at 264. So you get big numbers here, man. There's no doubt about it. Let's go just see lows. It's going to be the same setup. We're at 247 in lows. Yep, exact same setup. And good old King Dollar, because King Dollar, this is the number here. Now, King Dollar had a huge counter trend bounce. I mean, that being said, we, we got as high as 104.59 today, and you're down, well, you're only down a couple hundred ticks off of that level. So this is going to be a wild card here, man. You know, what is happening, though, uh, is that, you know, we're up today, and the dollar and the, you know, bottom line, at the beginning of the day, it affected the S&Ps, but as the day went down, as soon as it came off, actually, is, what, you, what you saw is this. As soon as the dollar started basically coming off just a bit, okay, and it came off 200 ticks, as soon as that happened, bottom line, the E-mini started saying, hey, man, I'm getting higher. Because remember, the correlation always is if the dollar is going lower, it's going against the other major currencies. So the other major currencies are going higher. And the bottom line, that means goods and those currencies are getting cheaper versus when you're using the U.S. dollar. Now, let's go to the, the yen. So this is, you've been hearing this all over the place, that this is the first time in 25 years that you, that the Bank of Japan actually went positive. It's still zero to 0 0.01. <laughs> we just went from zero point, no, we went to, from negative zero 0 0.01 to a positive 0 0.01. Well, what that did, that wasn't, <laughs> the yen was coming down, getting stronger. That just made the yen weaker. And the yen's up big, man. I mean, this is a big move by the yen. So we'll see where that shakes out. What's surprising is that the gold contract is still holding up when the yen was getting weaker because the gold contract loves a stronger yen, you know. So with that showing to me, just like the S&Ps, man, this is just a market that wants higher price, and it's right across, it's right across everything. So until we get up there and test, until this thing wants to turn, bottom line, and, and you know, the way that the market is set up right now, this would have been the time that the market would have about a week and a half before window dressing starts again. So my take on this right now is that we're going to go after the highs tomorrow, and we see where it is. We might get monster volume, and this thing just might blow up again. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. This is, this, is, this is quite a trend. I mean, big time. Some of the high volume equities out here today. Uh, Advanced Micro, that's having a, that's still down 10 bucks. That's a big number. Um, you got uh, Apple's up 250. Apple's not showing anything, you know. Uh, NVIDIA is, has been the number, been the number for quite some time. You get Amazon's going positive. That's up a buck. 
Uh, let's see what NVIDIA did. NVIDIA's down 30 bucks. It's probably down 10 by now. Oh my God, <laughs> it's even heavier. So NVIDIA was down to 850. It's at 884 right now, up 64 cents. So then NVIDIA is up, yeah, same, same deal. Uh, S, oh, Dell, now check this out. Michael Dell, man, he knows how to make money. So Michael Dell, this stock traded $107. He just moved out a half a billion dollars in stock. How's that? 465 million shares. No, 465 million. Yeah. His, his net worth right now is 94.2 billion. That is amazing. Stay right there, folks. Coming back uh, with our man, Mr. Tim Wood. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of Basil's educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor, Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 234. You get the Nasdaq up 22. S&Ps are up 14. 
And uh, bottom line, this is a market that just, <laughs> it just is relentless. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D, hyphen, Oracle, O-R-C-L-E dot com. That's Ord, hyphen, Oracle dot com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, it's kind of like a bunch of golly goop here, but, you know, it's, it's not real bad, uh, um, actually, we'll start with chart one, which is a monthly chart. Yep. And uh, yeah, we showed this probably last time, and it's just it's just, you got a reminder what what's going on here. But any any time the uh, monthly SBX closes above the upper Bollinger Band by fifty percent of the trading range, normally the next month, even uh, even though it could be the next couple three months, is usually at least a consolidation, if not a down. And um, that's what happened last February, or this you know month ago, February. We closed about halfway up. The market is, is still higher here, um, but the month's not over yet. But also, you, you go to the, the second window up from the bottom. Yes, is the S XPX VIX ratio, and where the SPs made a higher high, that ratio made a lower high. Uh, so you got minor divergences here. I'm bullish, uh, but. But I think the market needs to create some energy here with getting the trend back up, you know, into panic levels to get, build some energy to push the market forward. And I think that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, you know, no, listen, it, it, it's amazing, man. I mean, even today, every time this market goes red, it's like, okay, give it a few more hours, and all of a sudden it goes green. <laughs> yeah. 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 Actually, you know, we got the market now up, you know, about. 0.3 percent, or uh, yeah, about 0.3 percent. You know, you got a trend right now uh, at 0.1.7. Oh my so, God! Yeah, so you're you're building energy here. You know, is this a takeoff? You know, I'm thinking we're this week's kind of going to still be kind of up and down, and maybe next week we get going. I don't know, but it's. I still think this month. You know, which we got uh, well this week and next week. So basically, we got two more weeks before this month ends, or a week and a, a yeah. good week and a half. And I think the market still could stall here in this vicinity. But I like to see, you know, even a minor update. We got a trend one point six seven. So oh, it's a bullish. listen. What Tim's talking about here, folks. Yeah, look at this. I was just going to put this in front of your chart for one second, Tim. This is insane. That it's not insane because we know the, the amount of selling. But this is saying there's a lot of selling going on, folks. 1.67. But guess what? Someone's yeah. buying it. <laughs> but that's that's very unusual, which is really cool. Yeah. Wow. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So, and actually, the more days you get that, the more bullish it becomes. That's the reason why you yes. go to chart two. Okay. And that's that. The second window up from the bottom is a 10-day trend. And uh, back on March 11th, which is what about a week ago or a little over a week ago, the the trend did. Uh, I think the low was uh, point, uh, point nine one or point nine two. Yes. Didn't quite get to nine point nine, but close enough. I mean, this is not exact science, but you know, if you get in that range of point nine, you usually get a stall in the market. And so I drew the red lines every time yeah. uh, the trend, ten day trend, got to point nine or lower. Okay. And all of them, uh, all of them, but two came. Or, uh, you know, the ones I drew here all came at you know a consolidation phase that usually lasted a week. Some lasted longer, uh, but they all came near near highs. And so, and if you look over since you know nine or March 11th, which is over a week ago, the market really hasn't gone in, anywhere. I know so that point nine range yep. on the 10 day trend that does have some merit. That's what I'm trying to point out. Yeah, no, I can so, see that. that. There's no doubt, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, can you get a big pullback? Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. But usually the uptrend stalls, and that's what's going on right now. And you know, we got and the I'm, Fed tomorrow at two o'clock. So. Yeah. Yeah. What? The Federal Reserve has this statement and news conference at two o'clock tomorrow. Oh, that's the right. Statements at two o'clock. Yeah. Maybe that's what the market's kind of waiting for. Yeah. Well, you know, um, it's you know, it's interesting, Tim. Which I was looking for, looking at. You know, I know that you know the the cues were. Um, weaker than the S&P this morning, but those Qs have that high volume high out there, you know, the day we gave it up, uh, going back, what is that, the 20, no, the 6th, uh, no, the 8th of March. 
So it's like, you know what, man? That thing might want to get tested again, too. You know, because that was yeah. big volume. It was 72 million up there. We gave it up on price, but it's like, you know what? Because we rejected lower price out here today, and that's going to be on light volume. So it's like, okay, man. I mean, you going to yeah. spike that yeah, baby yeah. tomorrow? So. Yeah, so yeah, the, those high volume highs are always tested. As a matter of fact, that kind of keeps it big. You know, if you go up and test it, the first test may be on a lighter volume, but that second test, the rules are off. So if you ever so yeah. if you see a high volume high, say 100 million shares, and you go up test it on 80 million shares, it usually backs off. But if that backs off kind of light and goes up against that previous high again, those rules don't apply. They actually. So the more times you test a, a, a buying climax high, the the least resistance it has. I'll put it that way. Yeah, no, I, I uh, can see that, man. It's got this is yeah, got to be. So anyhow, yeah. But anyhow, anyhow, getting back to this chart, chart number two. Yes. I think and I'm hoping we can get a 10-day trend back up close to 1.2 area okay. or somewhere in that vicinity before the market takes off. And you know that could happen over the next uh, few days. That uh, I don't know. You know, if we get a couple of days like 1.64, sure. If you get two days in a row that add up to three, you got to be long. So, which is great uh, to know. Yeah, yeah. So, right. so tomorrow, I don't know what what it to be, but anyhow, it's building. There's no top here of any consequence. Uh, but can the sideways move move a little bit longer, possibly? So let's go to chart three real quick. Okay. Uh, chart three is this is pretty useful too. Also, which is the second window down from the top is the XP, SPX tilt ratio. So it measures the equity market, or compares the equity market to the bond market. Yes. And so those, so that's pretty much everything. You know, you got it the is. equity market, you got the bond market. And those two, and those two dance together pretty uniquely, I guess you might say. Yes. And, and the top window is the 10-day RSI. So it's a two-week RSI, not a 14-day RSI. And so when that gets up around 0.7, as when I threw that, when I sent that over to you, it's 0.67. So it's not an exact number, but if you get up around 0.7, normally the market kind of just stalls, and all those blue lines there across the chart are times when the RSI of this ratio got, you know, around 0.7 and higher. Okay. And we've kind of been hovering around that 0.7 over the last several days. Yes, we have. To me, uh, so that's kind of showing that we got some resistance here. You know, ideally for a, a bullish move, you like to see the RSI drop down around 0.30. Okay. Because that's where uh, the bombs come in at. So I'll hold. Uh, awesome. Just stay right there. Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate the growling and problem with us out here. We have the Dow. The Dow's up 263. NASDAQ's up 34. S&P's are up 18 and a half. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Attention all opening call subscribers. Next Tuesday, March 19th, Basil Chapman will be hosting a live 90-minute webinar for all subscribers. From 4 to 5.30 p.m., Basil will take subscribers through an educative journey, giving insight into how he will approach this volatile market. Basil Chapman's opening call newsletter has a 30-day money-back guarantee for all first-time subscribers, and all subscribers get access to his trove of webinar archives, so you have nothing to lose. Go to the Newsletters tab of TFNN.com and sign up today. We'll see you March 19th. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow up at 276, Nasdaq's up 39, the S&Ps are up 20. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Moore. And Tim, I'm on the third chart right now. All right. Um, well, yeah, well, I'm hoping, well, this chart says the upside is kind of just a resistance here. If the market keeps rallying, that RSI is going to stay up there around that 70 range. Okay. So the reason, so I'm thinking that's just, you know, there's not much upside here, at least not right now. If we can back off below 50, then I think you can get a rally going. But if it stays up around close to 70, you know, you could maybe touch a new high, but chances are it's not going to go far. Let's stay in some kind so, of consolidation, right? And because, yeah, you know, when, right. you, when you do look at where we're at, now this is really intriguing, too, because you, you were talking about this, Tim, even in February when, you know, the, the S&P did go um you know, above the middle Bollinger Band, uh, you know, but when we look at this market, I mean, we've been in the exact same place now for two and a half weeks. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah, we haven't moved, you know, any, yeah, you're right. You know, March is, uh, are you going up in March? Uh, now we're up a little bit. I guess you can see by the monthly chart. So, But, you know, it's not running away. Today's volume's going to be, you know, it's pretty, like, really light compared to yesterday. Right. And, and this is a week after option expiration week. A lot of times you can see consolidations. So it's kind of a much, you know, I wouldn't bet short or wouldn't bet long right here because there's not evidence to suggest, you know, any direction, really. You no, know, so, I'm with you. I, trust me. <laughs> this is not a market. So, to me, it, it, you just can't sell this market right now. That, that's And it, listen, I love going shot, but this is not a market to shot, man. It's just not. It's, yeah, it, you know. it's just... It's, you know, it's just, it's, you know, anyhow, I'm not really a big bet right here, so I don't see anything. So right. let's, let's go to chart four. Okay. And the, this is going to be kind of quick succession, what's going to go on. But these these signals I'm going to present are the signals for the bigger trend. And so these signals happen maybe once a year, you know, maybe once every three, four years. So yes. these signals are pretty rare. Okay. And when you do get them, you kind of pay attention to them. And anyhow, the first one is the uh, weekly inflation-deflation ratio, RSI. Chart goes back to 2015. And uh, the red circles on the chart show the times when the RSI fell below uh, RSI for this inflation-deflation ratio on the weekly time frames falls below 30. So it's on a weekly, not a daily. So they're, they're pretty rare for this to happen. They all come at basically major lows. And the last, and we got a, just a signal here back in, uh, I think about early March. I forgot exactly what it was, but yeah, the last time we got a signal was that October of 2000. And we're talking the gold market now too, by the way, folks. Yep. Yeah. So so anyhow, that there's a signal here. You know, uh, just been triggered. It uh, looks like about trickle about mid February. If you go off to the right there, you can see that chart. Well, yes. Anyhow, so, anyhow, this thing's on a bicycle. It really hasn't come off the lows yet. 
So let's flip to the chart number five. Okay. Because we're going to kind of go through quickly. This chart goes back to 2017. This is a totally type different indicator. And it's a bullish percent index for the gold miners index slash GDX. Yep. So it's another ratio, but it's usually a bullish percent index for the gold miners index. And all the blue lines across this chart are when the RSI for this ratio falls below 30 and turns up. And we got a signal on this one and back in February. It's gone up some. But, you know, it's, it's another major signal. Last time the signal occurred was uh, basically October of last year, August and October of last year. I got it marked there. But sometimes you don't get a signal for a year or two, and all of a sudden you get, uh, well, you get about one or two a year. At, you get one maybe a year, at two at most. So we got one this year. We got kind of one last year is kind of a double buy. And before that, there was another double buy in 2022, then one in 2021 and one in 2020. So it's a pretty rare signal to get it, but it's on a buy signal. So let's go to chart six real quick. We're okay. going to put, we're going to summation all this at the end. And so if you go to chart six, this is a weekly XAU gold ratio. Yes. So it's a, it's a total different type of indicator. It has no relationship with the other two. And all it is is the weekly RSI of this ratio falling below 30 and turning up. And this one also gives a signal, you know, something about once a year, sometimes less, sometimes it'll go three, four years without a signal. But, you know, we just got another one um, probably late February, early March. It's kind of an early signal. RSI fell below 30. It's gone up. And uh, these are multi-month signals. They're not like you, yes. up, you can have a, a consolidation for a week or two, but normally you're you're higher on this signal six months from now or even a year from now. So these signals are not short term at all. They're a lot of times multi-month, sometimes multi-year signals. So what I'm saying is, let's go down to the bottom of the chart okay. on the weekly XAU. Yeah, and I got a blue line crossing there. I see that. Yes. So. So anyhow, so uh, hang on one second. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So anyhow, I got a blue line crossing there. So to get through that blue line, you know, the Weisskopf method, you have to have a sign of strength right. to, to break above a resistance area. Well, that blue line on the XAU is a resistance area. So we're almost up to it. Well, this signal on the XAU gold ratio is, is is fairly new. We probably at a minimum got a six-month rally here. Well, if the market rallies for six months at a minimum, chances are the XAU will be above that line. Yes, right? that's for sure. Yeah. So, well, to get above that line, you need a sign of strength. Right. So what I'm saying in my newsletter, I think the market is actually going to get stronger here in the coming months because it's going to break that trend line on the XAU. And to get through that trend line, you have to see a sign of strength. So I'm thinking you're going to see a sign of strength on the XAU and the gold stocks sometime over the next several months. Right. So the market's not going to get weaker here. It's actually going to get stronger here because of all these three signals. They're all coming in approximately within you know, a couple or three weeks of each other. And you know what gets interesting, multi too? Multi-month signals. Yeah, and what gets interesting, folks, is that the XAU is trading 116. Well, that line that Tim has, the top of that line, that is 171. <laughs> so you break that with force, wide price spread accelerated volume, 171's coming at us, man. Yeah, that's pretty wild, yeah. Tim. Yeah. Yeah, so something is a big, uh, it's starting to form here. So let's go to chart seven and see where we are right now. Okay. Okay, chart seven is a short term indicator. It kind of just measures the up, ebb, the flow of the market. And, and basically, the bottom one is the 18 day average, up, down volume. And the next window up is the 18 day average of the advanced decline. And that's all it is. The pink areas are when these two indicators are below minus 10. The blue areas are in indicators when they're above minus 10. And so the minus 10 on both indicators 
as long as those two indicators are above minus 10, the uptrend, short-term uptrend, is intact. I see. So that's okay. what all that means. So even though we've got a little consolidation going on here, both those indicators are well above minus 10. So. Wow. Well, listen, man, we appreciate the education. You have a great one, safe one. We get the Fed meeting tomorrow, and then we get you right back here Thursday, Tim. All right, we'll talk to you then. Okay, man, have a Thanks great a one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And they're going to run it right into the close. This thing's going to... You know, we'll have some volatility tomorrow, but this is going after its highs, folks. You get the Dow at 320, NASDAQ's up 64, S&Ps are up 28. Let's go look at the S&Ps first. So you can see, oh, look at this, too. Look, we just took out the swing high with volume. How's that? Let's see, we did 39,000 contracts. Versus, oh my God, versus 39,000. This right here. So we just took out this consolidation. Let me see the exact number. 39,275. 39, oh my God. So you got an ABC up. Here we go. Okay, so this is tomorrow morning. Let's do this quick because my producer, Al, got my screens right so I can see now. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so 5238 and... 51.86, 
So what, you got 38, 48, uh, 54. So 54 on top of uh, 5275. Okay, 5275 is the ABC structure up. And we're at 5243 right now. Pretty wild, man. That's on the S&Ps. Let's go to the Qs, NQs. It's going to be the same setup, man. This is where intraday ABC structures, folks, are really cool. Okay, so it didn't take it out on the uh, NQs yet. So what that would say, so picture, it, you know, if you're day, tra tra day trading out there or you're swing trading for overnight, the bottom line is that you want to go into the SPIs or the S&P futures, the E-minis versus the NQs. You know, we get, let's see. Yeah, you still get, you know, five minutes left, whatever, for the NQs to take it out. But uh, the SPIs taking it out. So that's saying that's where we're going, man. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Don't forget about our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. If you want to go in that webinar, just jump over to us right here, right now. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.